Hey, Konnichiwa, Mr. San. It's Gray from Akasashi's Tea House Home in Japan. How are you doing? You good? Are you feeling Genki? Okay, today I have a review of King Spawn. It's issue 26. And you know what? It feels like ages since the last one came out. I actually thought I'd missed an issue. I went back and checked uh, my reviews and I was like, no, the last one was King Spawn 25. I reviewed it around the, I think the last week in August. So it has been a little bit longer than usual. But what you want to know is, is 26 worth picking up? Is it a return to form? How's it going now that Todd McFarlane is writing it instead of Sean Lewis? That's right, it is Todd McFarlane on writing duties. You've got the wonderful Javier Fernandez on art. And first of all, I want to point out this cover. What do you think? This one is the main cover. It's the Mike Diodato Jr. version. Um, I like it, but I've got to say I prefer this one. Now, this is a variant cover. I'm probably going to butcher the name. It's Kyle New. Spell N-G-U. I think it's new like that. I love this image. There's even a black and white version as well. I don't even get hold of that. But yeah, excellent. Anyway, so what's the issue like? Is it worth picking up? It's a better story than the last one, I think, because the last one was basically a, a long conversation between Spawn and Clown, which was good in a way. It did kind of remind people what had been happening. It was a bit of a, a recap of sorts. This has a lot more action. It's focused on Spawn. He's like, he's out and he's going to get, well, he's looking for, basically looking for answers, looking for a way to find somebody. He gets himself completely weaponed up and goes out on, you know, on the rampage. It's great. The action scenes are really well done. There's some fantastic art in this issue by Javi Fernandez. That's what made me want to do a review of this because I was I was just going to skip it. I thought, oh yeah, we'll see how it goes. I don't know if there's that many people still reading King Spawn. I really hope there are because I think it's a really good you know really good title. But yeah, it was basically um, Fernandez's art, which is like, yeah, come on, Gray, get a video put together of this. Like, try and show people how good it is. It's worth picking up just for the art. But yeah, decent story. Um, kind of without spoiling things, you do get some news news about the dead zones. You know, the dead zones, I feel like we've been, like basically, they've been telling that story for how long now? But yeah, we seem to be going somewhere. And I don't know. I'm not reading all the Spawn books, so I don't know how well this is um, like lining up with the other titles. But I've heard from um, a friend or a reviewer who says that the main Spawn book actually has Spawn in hell right now. So it is not lining up. So anyway, but that's just getting a bit finickety, isn't it? We'll see. As I say, worth picking up for the art alone, um, but it is a good, pretty good story. And I'm going to give this a pretty strong 7 out of 10. Okay, so I'll give you the story summary. Show the first half of the book, not spoiling the end as usual. And do please check out the art and let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, keep watching and here we go. The issue opens with Spawn arming himself to the teeth with some serious heavy duty weaponry. As he says in the bottom panel, time to scare the shit out of them. Then on the next page, we get the first of many stunning pages by Javi Fernandez. I love his art in this comic, that's why I've reviewed it. It's been, I actually reviewed the last issue, but you know, it feels like it's been ages since it came out. It's only been just over, I think, six weeks. Look at this art on this page. Is it just me or what? Great cityscapes, really, really atmospheric, great use of lighting and shadow silhouettes. Look at the panel there, we got Spawn sat perched on the tree branch. It's so good. This is how you want to see Batman these days, but... <laughs> The less said about that book at the moment, the better. He appears to be stalking someone, waiting for them. He's waited long enough. Again, look at this here. It's great comic book art, sequential storytelling. Very, very little dialogue. We just see the story told in pictures. Spawn bursts through this door. What does he find inside? No one. It's empty. It's like they knew he was coming. Now just look at him here. Look at the weaponry he's got. It's, it's kind of ridiculous, but it's pretty awesome at the same time. Punisher Spawn. Then we get some background information via Todd McFarlane's three favourite channels. The first one's talking about extreme weather in the news. It keeps hitting the country and they're saying it's possibly due to global warming or even the hand of God. The second channel, InfoBuzz, says, hey, maybe we're not quite sure what's going on, but he does mention costumed sightings increasing over the last nine months. Could it have something to do with them? And the third channel, The Patriot, 
It's all some master plan that the deep states concocted. He even says that global warming is a hoax and that it's actually down to the costumed men and women, the superheroes. It's their fault. They're causing all this. Next, we shift to Manhattan. We're in the middle of an unseasonably hot summer. It's a nightclub. We see Al Simmons. He's inside. He's in the process of sending his own message, as it says. He ain't going to be tricked a second time. The boss of the club, Jimmy Cabrera, goes to find out what all the noise was. Oh shit! He starts to run. Bang! He runs right into Al Simmons. Hello Jimmy, I'm looking for the visage. Outside there are reinforcements, but unfortunately for Jimmy, they've come too late. And we see poor Jimmy's head come bouncing out of the door, followed by Spawn. Look at him. He comes flying out looking furious. Again, I've got to bring up the art by Fernandez. Look at it. It's so, so good. It's like it's like a fantastic hard-boiled noir. We're told that Spawn crisscrossed the city through the night, leaving in his wake the remains of his interrogations. He spared neither heaven, hell, or vampires. Look at that poor angel there. He had a cross stuffed into his mouth. Then we see an abandoned subway station, and I'm getting Matrix, Neo, and Agent Smith vibes. Someone's being pursued by Spawn. Look at those bottom four panels and just watch this sequence. The man, he's fleeing for his life. Next minute, he runs into Spawn who's in front of him. The visage, where is she? And we're reminded on the next page how Spawn could travel anywhere via shadows. Here, he finds a dead zone. Finally, a dead zone. There's an old woman inside saying she's been expecting him. She asks Spawn why he's bothering her. She tells Spawn, Our job, my mission, is to observe. Nothing else. But your side, hell, heaven, you think you're so important, you'll be around forever. That was never our plan. For them or their mother. Not sure what that reference is to, but she continues, You're all replaceable. So either leave or do your worse. I'm getting bored. She even tells him to shoot her. Spawn replies, No. This is a sacred place. We know that my guns won't work here. And then he actually asks her for a favour. What's the favour going to be? Okay, I'm going to stop the story summary here. There are still six or seven pages to go. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that review. I really do hope you enjoyed the art as much as I did. Like, hail to Javi Fernandez, that's all I can say. But anyway, here is the preview of a rather bizarre cover for issue 27, which is out, it says, in October. So maybe at the end of this month, we'll see what happens. What do you think of that cover? I've got to say, no offence, but I'm not really sold on that one. I'll have to look forward to what the variant cover is for that issue. And we also get um, an advertisement in this issue. And can somebody please tell me, what are page punchers? Because I really want to know. And I, I love this here. Is this like a spawn notebook or something? Two figures in front of it. Yeah, I like the look of that. Page puncher? Any ideas? And one more thing. Just let me scroll to the end. That was the, the gorgeous variant cover. Here is another one. Look at this. This is the black and white version I said, but it's got a little bit of color in it. A bit of the green flashing from Spawn's eyes and like the smoke in the background. Very, very cool. So as always, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And do drop a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And I hope to see you in a future video. This has been Gray from Okazashi's Tea House and I'm signing off for the night. Matane.